many of you remember spending endless hours memorizing the periodic table, area and perimeter of a trapezium, or Newton's law of motion, F equal to MA? These were just formulas that we would all mug up and memorize, right? While something like your anniversary or your spouse's birthday is worth memorizing, 12 times 9 is not one of them. Till today, traditional education systems continue to emphasize the remembering of facts instead of nurturing the thinking process. Today, children have access to Google, calculators, and computers, giving them access to information on their fingertips. So what is critical is how they evaluate and analyze all that information to solve problems and make decisions. So let me tell you a story. In my master's program, I had to submit a paper for International Relations 101. This was an open book exam. So after submitting my paper, two days later, the grades came in, and I got an F. I ran out of the class, tears streaming down my face, shocked at the grade I received. I was a student with distinction in law school, and this grade came completely out of left field. So the next day, I went to my professor to seek clarity, and he said, Aditi, you were supposed to write an analytical research paper. I did not know what he meant. While others wrote what they interpreted, observed, and analyzed, I wrote what I read and probably memorized. This is true for majority of students in our country, where memorization supersedes critical thinking. So while I had to figure out and relearn skills at the master's level, today we have an opportunity to change the way how children learn and think and better equip them for their future. I am Aditi Prasad, and I'm committed to transform the education system in our country through robotics and coding education and inspire young children to be innovators and creators. In the next 10 to 15 years, Artificial intelligence, data science, machine learning, 3D printing, and Internet of Things will give rise to a new set of opportunities. According to a World Economic Forum report, one in four adults reported a mismatch between the skills they have and the skills they need for their current job, which denotes a significant skill gap between the products of the traditional education system and the expectation from today's technologically advanced workplace. In addition, by 2022, 54% of all employees will require significant reskilling. Companies like Infosys, TCS, and Cognizant have continually been investing millions towards reskilling programs. So the Industrial Revolution enabled countries like Britain and other European countries to conquer the world country by country. If we don't equip our young children with skills to meet this next tech revolution, the digital divide will widen and leave India economically and culturally far, far behind. Therefore, the question is, what skills are our children learning in school, and are they learning the right ones? And as parents, educators, and role models, how are we preparing our children to meet these opportunities of the future? So my sister Deepti and I co-founded Indian Girls Code, to inspire young girls to be innovators, creators, and leaders of the future. We wanted to transform the education they received by giving them access to tech and coding skills and empowering them to be the change they wanted to see in the world. While our programs run across all sectors of society, we focus on underprivileged girls who do not have access to quality education and who, under the pressure of poverty and tradition, may not even realize their STEM skills. Also to add, we don't leave the boys out. <laughs> Through digital tools such as robotic toys, coding games, learning apps, and so on, technology is enabling children to learn and be creative in fun and interactive ways. So my three-year-old learned how to count, picking up sticks and stones in the garden, and has grasped the concept of left and right by way of programming his toy. When children play and explore with blocks and sensors and understand how hardware and software interplay with each other, they can create solutions to problems they see around them. When children 
access and play with so many toys like robotic toys and coding games, they develop 21st century skills. Also, when children play with tools that they understand and have so much fun using, they develop confidence, curiosity, imagination, enthusiasm, and persistence, and also build STEM literacy. Today, I want to share some amazing stories of what our kids have been up to. So typically in our programs, a child walks into a class filled with toys, filled with drones and blocks. It's the easiest way to get a six-year-old to pay attention in class. This is a story of 10-year-old Vasumati from Vadaganallur School in Tamil Nadu. Vasumati explored the concepts of levers and force and discovered Newton's law of motion all by herself by building a seesaw with blocks. In 2017, in a classroom in Chennai, the children were given a challenge to build a tower, building a structure that was earthquake resistant. Their models were seismic tested with the help of a vibrating machine, and we saw some amazing designs that stood the test, like this one made by Adi Dev and Karthik. In Seva Samajam School in Chennai, 13-year-olds Bhavani, Kirtika, and their team constructed an autonomous robot. Much like the Google driverless car, their robot interfaced with sensors can carry a payload, detect obstacles, and avoid falling off a cliff. And by the way, this team is taking their creation to compete in an international competition in Jordan this June. So children of grade 11 created a product, right from ideation and sketching to design, prototype, and testing. So these children designed a car, some inspired by animals and others, their favorite superhero. Then they made scaled-down versions using 3D printers and tested their prototype in a wind tunnel for aerodynamics. Isn't it amazing what kids do these days? So digital play is not going away and is here to stay. Just like alphabets are the foundation for reading and numbers are the foundation for math, coding is digital literacy. With open source programming languages like the Pocket Code app from the Graz University of Technology, children can create their own apps by simply dragging and dropping bricks on a mobile screen. So just like Lego blocks, you put the blocks together, and the stacks of blocks create a story or a game. Now, you remember the car the child built earlier? Now, imagine if she creates an app with pocket code and using Google Talk on her smartphone can now control her car with her own voice. So this is our vision, to bring fun and powerful learning experiences and technology to kids all across the country, inspiring them to be creators, innovators, and leaders of a brighter tomorrow. I want to leave you with a thought by Professor Seymour Papert from the MIT Media Lab, whose ideas and inventions transform the way children learn and think today. He said, the scandal of education is that every time you teach a child something, you deprive that child the pleasure and benefit of discovery. And this is where our work starts. And maybe one day, we'll see 10-year-old Vasumati or 13-year-old Kirtika solving climate change and discovering the solution to cancer. Thank you.